Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer on this Thursday, the 20th, sorry, 20th, the 10th, which is a month away, the 10th of December. I hope it's not the 20th because if it was, I'd be out of time for all the planning we're doing. Uh, so as we gather today, let us ask for God to be with us in all that we do and say and think. Let us ask for God to bless our endeavours this day and let us come together in prayer. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion the dawn from on high is breaking upon us, to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence, and strengthen our hands to do your will that the world may rejoice to give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all who dwell therein. For he has found it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord, or who can rise up to his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, those who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, nor sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, or those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray of one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire and love for you now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this morning is psalm, psalm 53. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fool says in his heart there is no God. Corrupt are they and abominable in their wickedness. There is no good that, that there is no one that does good. God has looked down from heaven upon the children of earth to see if there is anyone who is wise and seeks after God. They are all gone out of their way, all alike have become corrupt. There is no one that does good, no, not one. Have they no knowledge, these evildoers, who eat up my peoples as if they ate bread and do not call upon God? There shall they be in, in great fear, such fear as never was, for God will scatter the bones of the ungodly. They will be put to shame because God has rejected them. Oh, that Israel's salvation would come out of Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people, when then will Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Our second psalm for the mo this morning is Psalm 50, uh, 54. Behold, God is my helper. Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your power. Hear my prayer, O God, give heed to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and the ruthless seek after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who upholds my life. May evil rebound on those who lie in wait for me. Destroy, the, destroy them in your faithfulness. An offering of a free heart will I give you. And praise your name, O Lord, for it is gracious. For he has delivered me out of all my trouble, and my eye has seen the downfall of my enemies. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Behold, God is my helper. Our third psalm for this morning is Psalm 60. Restore us again, O God our Saviour. O God, you have cast us off and broken us. You have been angry. Restore us to yourself again. You have shaken the earth and torn it apart. Heal its wounds, for it trembles. 
You have made your people drink bitter things. We reel from the deadly wine you have given us. You have made those who fear you to flee, to escape from the range of the bow, that your beloved may deliver us. Save us by your right hand and answer us. God has spoken in his holiness. I will triumph and will and divide Shechem and share out the valley of Sukkoth. Gilad is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet and Judah my scepter. Myrrh shall be my washpot. Over Eden will I cast my sandal. Across Felicia will I shout in triumph. Who will lead me into the strong city? Who will bring me into Edom? Have you not cast us off, O God? Will you no longer go forth with our troops? Grant us your help against the enemy, for our earthly help is in vain. Through God we, we do great acts, for it is he that shall tread down our enemies. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Restore us again, O God, our Saviour. Our Old Testament reads a continuation of the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 48, verses 1 to 11. Hear this, O house of Jacob, who call on the name of Israel, and who came forth from the loins of Judah, who swear by the name of the Lord and invoke the God of Israel, but not in truth or right. For they call themselves after the holy city, and lean on the God of Israel. The Lord of hosts is his name. The former things I declared long ago, they went out from my mouth, and I made them known. Then suddenly I did them, and they came to pass, because I know that you were obstinate, and your, your neck is an iron sinew, and your forehead brass. I declared them to you from long ago, before they came to pass, and I announced them to you, so you would not say, My idol did them. My carved image and my cast image, and my carved image and my cast image commanded them. You have heard, now see all this, and will you not declare it? From this time forward I will make you hear new things, hidden things that you have not known. They are created now, not long ago. Before today you have never heard of them, so you could not say, I already knew them. You have never heard, you have never known. From of old your ear has not been opened. For I knew that you would deal very treacherously, and that from the birth you were called a rebel. For my name's sake I defer my anger. For the sake of my praise I restrain it for you, so that I may not cut you off. See, I have refined you, but not like silver. I have tested you in the furnace of adversity, for my own sake, for my own sake do I do it. it for why did, should my name be profane? My glory I will give to no other. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice. The desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to the anxious, be strong. Fear not, your God is coming in judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Then shall the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then shall the lame leap like a harp and the, and the tongue of the dumb sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. For joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. Our New Testament reads a continuation of Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 3, from the beginning to the end of the chapter. Therefore, when we could bear it no longer, we decided to be left alone in Athens, and we sent Timothy, our brother and co-worker for God, in proclaiming the gospel of Christ, to strengthen and encourage you for the sake of your faith, so that no one could, would be shaken by these percussions. So persecutions. Indeed, you yourselves know that this was what we are destined for. In fact, when we were with you, we told you beforehand that we were to suffer persecution. So it turned out, as you know. For this reason, when I could bear it no longer, I sent to find out about your faith. I was afraid that somehow the tempter had tempted you, and that our labour had been in vain. 
But Timothy has just now come to us from you and has brought us the good news of your faith and love. He has told us also about that you also remember us kindly and long to see us, just as we long to see you. For this reason, brothers and sisters, during all our distress and persecution, we have been encouraged about you through, our, through your faith. For we now live, if you continue to stand firm in the Lord. How can we thank God enough for you in return for all the joy that we feel before our God because of you? Night and day we pray most earnestly that we may see your face to see you face to face and restore whatever is lacking in your faith. Now may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus Christ direct our way to you. And may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all. Just as we abound in love for you. And may he, all, and may he so strengthen your hearts and holiness that he may be blameless before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ with all his saints. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now is the time to wake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that lies ahead of us. We ask that you be with us, guide our hearts, our minds, our thoughts in all that we do and say and think. We pray that you will help us to show your love to one another this day, that we will show kindness and compassion to our neighbours, to our friends and to those we do not like. We pray for all who have meetings and work today, for all who are going to school today. We pray for those who are working at home, for those who are retired, for those who are in who are shielding, and those who are housebound. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Father, we pray for all being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those who are in need of our prayers and thoughts today we pray for those who are currently testing positive for those who are in self-isolation for those who are in quarantine for those who are shielding we pray particularly for those who are unable to attend school because of shielding for those who are having classes disrupt disrupted due to infections We pray for those who are in hospital and those who have died. We pray for all who are receiving the vaccine and for all who are longing for it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious Lord, as we approach Christmas, help us to be mindful of the true meaning 
of your son coming into the world, born of born of of a human mother. We pray for his message and give thanks for the hope that he brings. We pray that his word and your love will be known by all throughout the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for this benefice, for its churches, for your congregation and for your faithful people. We pray for those who are unable to come to church at the moment. We pray for those who we miss and who we love. We pray for those who we are longing to see again. We pray too for those who have distanced themselves from the church and for those who need that need to renew their sanctuary with, a, with you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray particularly for those who are in hospital at this time, for those who are receiving treatment. We pray for Davy, for Megan, for Ronnie, for Susanna. We pray too for those who are known to you alone, Lord. We pray for all who are awaiting treatment and diagnosis and for those who are having their treatments disrupted. We pray for those who are reaching the end of their lives and those who have recently lost their lives. We remember particularly Sister Mary Margaret from Burnham Abbey and Sub and Subagi. We pray for all who are mourning their loss, for their friends, their families and their and all who mourn them. We pray too for those who are carrying the scars of loss and for those who are missing loved ones this Christmas time. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O Lord, raise up, we pray, your power and come among us with great might to succour us, that whereas through our sins and wickedness we are grievously hindered in running the race that is set before us, your bountiful grace and mercy may speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory now and forever. Amen. Awaiting your coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art no. in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Quick reminder that uh, we'll have evening prayer at 5 o'clock this evening. And on Sunday, we'll have a BCP Holy Communion at St. Mary's at 8 a.m. This will be followed by our 9.30 Eucharist, which will also be streamed online. And then at 11 o'clock, we will be at St. Thomas's for their Eucharist. And so please do join us for whichever service you would like, uh, either in person or online. You'd be very, very welcome. And until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe and have a very good day.